All right, so I finished All Light We Cannot See, but it happens to be a weekday, and by the time Sean gets home from work, it's always too dark to film. So you guys are going to get a montage of Luna Bear as a puppy being really cute, and then Sean and I are going to get out our thoughts right now. I do know that um, he, he liked it, and I did not like it. I thought I was going to love it. I for so long thought I was going to love it. And then about about halfway and then through the end, I just liked it less and less the more I read. I will start with things I like. I liked the writing style. I, I wasn't did too. I wasn't in love with the writing style, but I liked the writing style. There were there were moments of of beauty. Moments where you highlighted it on your Kindle. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. I, I'm gonna uh, jump on that really quick yes. by saying it was the right level of pretty for me. Yeah, I feel like it's it's kind of middle of the road. Which like I like. It's not too too pretty, but it's got like its moments. So I kept saying it would be easy not that'd be easy, but it was my chance to make millions writing a screenplay. And the reason I keep saying that is because the chapters are so short, they felt like scenes to me. Yeah, they did. Of a movie. And I was like, you just gotta take like these chapters and boom, there's your scene. So I liked that element too. I did too. I, I kept joking about it and I think people were like, why do you think that is? But darn it, they're already making a movie or TV show or something. So I really liked the relationship between Marie and her and father. Her father I and her nice. great uncle. And her great uncle. Yeah, I liked those relationships too. But to me, and I, I'm trying to, we have to, no spoilers yet, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to be really vague. I thought Werner was the more interesting perspective of the two. So and I I enjoyed I'm not well enjoyed's not the right word but I, I I found him interesting his progression. Yeah, I'll start with positive too and we're going to start non-spoiler and then we'll get into spoilers, but we'll give you guys a warning when we get into spoilers. So, I think it's hard to say that he's not objectively good. I don't like saying objectively very often cuz I think most things are personal preference when it comes to books. But I think objectively, he's a good writer. I don't know that you can look at it and say like, ah, oh, this is bad. <laughs> and then he also, I think, I think clearly had to have taken a lot of effort into the research behind the book. So not just with historical stuff, but in order to make Werner's character come to life the way he did, that character is one that's really fascinated, interested in things that involve formulas and mathematics and whatnot. And so he actually had some parts in the book that I was like, ah, oh, I don't remember any of this because it's been so long since calculus. <laughs> but I just feel like a lot of the stuff that he put in there, it it felt really real. And he could have easily written it in a way that he kind of glossed over stuff. His depiction of Marie being blind, blind. seemed real Yeah, there's to this me. one passage that's kind of artsy, but it was talking about what it's like to be blind and how just merely closing your eyes doesn't Isn't really give you an indication of what it's like. And then he lists everything she can hear, but he's not really listing, listing things she can hear because then it starts to get to the point where he's just listing things <laughs> and you're like, well, some of these are miles away. So she's not literally hearing that, but it, and that's probably the part where I was like, so beautiful. Werner's character though is German. He's a young German boy. Mm -hmm. And this book is showing you how there are lots of people likely that had similar stories to his that kind of get pulled in to what Germany was doing, even though they're not bad people that right. hate all of these individuals that Germany was killing. So uh, I think his is one of those where it kind of is eye opening. And her story was I, I, I was really captivated by her story initially. In fact, I would say I found Werner's story less interesting for a long time. Mm -hmm. Then his story became more interesting, and I felt that where it went, the it was kind of redundant initially. It's kind of an orphan with his sister, and they're poor, and they don't have a lot. But you stick with them like that for so long that when things do start to go a different direction... It makes you and I feel like him miss that the sense of just it being so plain. It was a simple life. Right. He kept wanting something more. And then he wanted the simple life again. Mm -hmm. That kind of a thing. So I just wanted to debrief people so that yeah. they have some yeah, context yeah. We're to just what kind we're of saying. Talking about I, I will say like <clears throat> I didn't see many people 
But I think I think in the the Byzans buddy reader, I, I think I saw a couple people not in love with the way it was told, like the chronology. I actually really liked it. I liked and, it to an extent. Yeah. So what happens is you get uh, is it, it's like 1943 or something at the beginning of the book. It's something like that, and then you go back in time 11 years, and then incrementally. You go back and forth between a progression, the, a progression of modern, modern, yeah, not exactly. modern, uh, present day, present day, and then you then you go back and get their it, past. it slowly catches up. I really thought it was well done. I think it can be not well done, but in this case, I was very invested in seeing how they got to where they were. I almost felt like toward the end when things started to come together. It got to a point where I just wanted them to go to present day mm-hmm. because it got... S- I well, don't- then it's like days away. And yeah. You're like almost there. Yeah, 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 exactly. And it's not that I was confused where I was like, well, what's going on or anything? But I, like I understood what was happening, but I also just kind of for the clarity of it because it almost lost a tiny bit of impact because there's some pretty intense moments, especially people hiding and trying mm, to stay yeah. safe. And... Uh, people being taken away from each other or wondering if people are dead, those kinds of things where they slightly lose some of their weight when the timeline is a certain way. Right. So I'll, I'll say my negative. Yes. What's and, your... And it... Uh, it's... It, every time I think about it, it makes me a little bummed. So I really did not like the the end of the book. Like, I didn't like at the end all. at all. So... And, and I'm, once again, I keep saying it, no spoilers, but we'll get I, into I, it. Okay, so I'm going to say I, I said this in in my in my wrap up. I don't know if you saw some of the comments in there, but I avoided. There was a reference to what I said, and what I said was, it felt like the third Lord of the Rings movie. <laughs> where where it just keeps where ending. Five different <laughs> endings, and the, it goes dark, and you're like, "Wow, what a great movie!" And then it comes up again, and then you're like, "Oh, it's it's still going." I remember because uh, it was when we were doing our 24 hour readathon. I was like, "Why am I still reading this?" Because yes. <laughs> like I would look, and there's like 40 pages left. I'm like, "It I, ended. It ended already." So around the halfway point of the book, I was like, "How do I have this much of the book left?" Yeah. So at I, least it was. I mean, it was fairly. It was brief in page count. And in actual words, but it wasn't brief in what it was saying. Because then there's time skips at the end, some pretty big ones. Yeah, and that, and all of those to me, because I think there's it ends up being like thirteen parts, and I I always get at eleven. <laughs> I was like part eleven, that was a good ending, and then yeah, I was there's like, a, there's one moment which I'll get into in the spoilers yeah. where I was like it should have ended I right there. I think it's the, the same moment. Yeah, but, <laughs> so I. Yeah, I, when I was reading it, I was like, is this going to be like a check out his next book? Like I kept thinking it was like a ad or, or something. Or like was, a, a chat with the author. Yeah, I, I was like, it's wait, this is the same book? Uh, I, I'm still, like, I feel bad, like, because I liked everything else. I even said in, in the wrap up, I was like, I don't want the end to take away from everything else I enjoyed. Because that does... Just pretend it ended somewhere else. Yeah, it, it seems a little unfair, but... <laughs> It almost makes me like drop a star. <laughs> well, like, I will say last like, year, uh, so I, I had know. two two books last year. One that I really liked, The Bird and the Blade, which a lot of you have probably heard me talk about it. I mm. even gave it an honorable mention in my favorites of the year because I loved so much of it until the end. Right. And then uh, a different book, which I wouldn't say I loved anywhere close to that one, but I enjoyed it well enough. It was called The Wicked Deep. Oh, yeah, I and I liked it pretty well. It wasn't, I would say, a really powerful moving book or anything, but I enjoyed it. And then the last like two pages, I was like, what did I just read? And I told myself, I can probably keep this book and just, just pretend, pretend that wasn't the ending. And then every time I thought about that book, I thought about the ending. And I was like, I can't. I can't. Yeah, and, and the thing for me was there's a particular character who I didn't need to know their fate. There's, there's one side character where I was perfectly fine Not knowing. never knowing what happened to them. Well, I have lots to say about that in the spoilers. And- I want to, <laughs> I do want to say the non-spoiler part, the biggest thing that I didn't care for about this book, and it's not a spoiler because it actually, I wish I had known this was going to be such a big part of the book because I might have gone in with different expectations. So 
I was going into this thinking it was going to be an extremely powerful story about the consequences of war, which I think that it was in part. But a huge part of this book was like the hunt for this maybe mystical diamond. And I was like, what is happening? And I thought I even had a thought at the beginning of the book because it has these time jumps and the little girl who is blind, Marie, her father works at a museum and there's all these rumors about this diamond and it will make the person who owns it live forever, but then bad things happen to everybody else. These are all the rumors. All the kids talk about it and they have all these crazy theories and stories. And there's like this idea, because right after that, it talks about how the little girl goes blind. And so it's this like, oh, is it? Is it not? Like almost like a magical realism thing. But I just, I didn't find it was that nuanced. Yeah, so I, I didn't like that part. I am not going to lie. I certainly when I was reading it, I was surprised. I remember I think I was in the car reading it and you were teaching a lesson or something. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Because like, it becomes a really yeah, big part. Like I Exactly. I was like, I wasn't expecting this. But I just kind of said, okay. You know, like I, I went with it. I went with it, but also I, it didn't affect how I felt about the characters so I didn't mind I kind of saw it as a way for like I mean there there had to be some sort of problem you know what I mean like because otherwise it would really would be like her day-to-day life which I actually found interesting this is what frustrated me is that we have a story set during World War II and we're looking for a problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, Beyond. I didn't need yeah. somebody who is having to endure being displaced from their home and lots of other things that go wrong in the story. I didn't then need this kind of sort of magical realism. Like, people are after this diamond, and so now she's in danger again. And I'm like, she's not already in danger, you know, just yeah, for... just being there. Being there yeah. during World War Two. Yeah, I just felt well, like it... And, and that's why I said, like... At, and At some is, point, that's why Werner became more interesting to me. Yeah. Because his was... real. It was, was rooted in realism, real, like something yeah, real. Like some real bad stuff so was happening with I him. have found and discovered for myself, for anybody... This is where the subjective part obviously comes in. I have found that when I pick up... You would think I wouldn't mind it, because I love fantasy. But when I pick up a fantasy book, it's like we're all in... Just yeah. throw whatever magic or that kind of stuff at me, and I'm fine with it. But when I go to pick up a historical fiction book, that is not what I'm looking for. It definitely caught me off guard. I guess my thing was I just decided also that, like, obviously this diamond is magic. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, there could be rumors, there could be stories. I think it's just a really nice diamond. Like, that's what I right. told myself when I was like, but I don't even want to think about it. It annoyed me because, I, like I said, even early on, mm-hmm. when the kids were making all their stories up, it was right. one thing. But then, like, she would hear adults talk about it. And I was mm. like, these grown people have some pretty strong superstitions yeah. about this diamond. And then it turns out there are people that are extremely moved to the point of doing pretty crazy stuff. And I just was surprised by that. But yeah, I, th- I, that's, I that was probably the biggest reason. There was a couple things that require us to get into spoilers. So I think we're going to get into spoilers now. In three, two... <laughs> One. Okay, so uh, I think why I really liked <coughs> this book at the beginning and why I I still like it is Marie and her father. Yes, let's, I loved. Let's be honest. We all knew that wasn't going to end well. I know. But him leading her through the museum, I don't know. And then like when he is... Uh, He's finally, like, captured, and he writes the letters, and like, oh, it's actually okay. I know. We, like, we just were farming all day, or whatever he said. The like, food was Yeah, the great. food was great, and I was like, I was like, this is gonna make me cry. <laughs> like, yeah. like, his letters, like, made me so sad, and I, I just also, like, the effort he went to, to make those models so that she could, like, learn... Where, yeah, where early go. on when he's like, you're going to lead us home, and she cries, yeah. and he's so patient with her. And it, it takes him, like, hours where she, she finally gets there. And then when they are displaced, he makes a whole new model. And I yeah. think that's where it, you do get that resilience and, like, you see her 
I mean, obviously she's older. I mean, she starts a book really young, but like her growing up is she, even without her father, she learned the model. She like counted her steps and she like figured out. And then when she would make the effort to help those women who were trying to. Yeah. The, the women at the bakery. They would, that was really clever, but they would put the messages in the bread. Um, well, and that was one thing this book did really well. I thought was the woman manic, the like housekeeper lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When she starts to get involved, cause she's like, you know, we're contributing by not doing something. And Mm -hmm. she starts getting involved. I'm like, dude, you have like a young girl whose father's gone. I know. The other guy's crazy. What are you doing? But then I thought about it. I'm like, but everybody has somebody. Yeah. Like those, those are the people that make a difference. They put their, their own, they don't just put themselves in danger, but everybody has someone. So by putting these other people in danger for the greater good, that's a huge risk. And, I don't know. I was like, that lady's a hero, but also you're, you're torn because you're like, what? You're putting them in danger. And then I actually really liked her great uncle a lot I too. too. And that I, a scene I thought was pretty emotional was when she asked him if she feels like she cursed him basically. And he's like, you're the best thing that's happened yeah. to me. I was like, oh. That was, but, like, that was like a Sean like near like, I'm going to cry right but now. But see, that's what was so frustrating to me is like you'd get these very human moments and then be like, this guy who is dying wants this diamond. And then he's yeah. like, just weird. And I don't know, it frustrated me because it was it made me not feel as emotionally invested in those other moments because it didn't, I don't know, it didn't feel like the same book. It was right. really, I got frustrated. But I want to add something, a spoiler thing about the end that I actually was like, dude, what the heck? So you pretty much the whole book do not get Werner's sister. Yeah. And, and then, then all of a you, you get like oh, one page. And she's she's raped. like raped. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, let me get this page where we've moved her to Berlin, where it's yeah. known that like bad things happen. So, like, let's go back to her. You haven't seen her the whole book, but I'm just going to add this random chapter in, be like, by the way, her and all her friends were raped. And you're like, um. And then it, then it goes further with her as, a, as an adult, right? Yeah. Then Which, we transition to yeah. like, oh, by the way, she got married. She has a son now, and he has some things similar to Werner and yeah. Werner's death was like the most uneventful random just I'm like oh because he steps on a landmine right yeah he just wakes up and he's oh he walks out there right yeah yeah he just like yeah I mean I and I was the- pretty I mean I I saw I understood why I mean I feel like he obviously hated what he had been doing what he had been a part of and he kind of turned his back on Frederick, his like only friend. That was sad too. And yeah, it was sad. <clears throat> and but he did like I I guess what I liked about that was like he did he saved Marie. That was like his like thing. And then and then he, and then he killed himself. And it's it's like jeez. Well, <laughs> and that's where I want the book to end because I'm a morbid. <laughs> so person, I that's guess. not where I wanted the book to end. I thought he was delusional. Oh, problem. I mean, from his illness, like I thought he was super out of it. You're right. He was super out of it. But I guess that's. An, I do want to clarify. It's not the. It's not like I needed him to go out with a bang or something. Yeah. And I also, I'm not upset that he died. And I mean, I am like, I'm, I, I didn't want him to die. I wanted him to live and be happy. Yeah. But it was. It's not either that his death was. Uh, it just kind of happens mm-hmm. so abruptly and stuff. Because I think there's something to be said of deaths that just happen because that's how a lot of deaths are but i just didn't it it had this weird like was it because of the diamond feel to it Uh, and i didn't because the whole i wanted the book to end where they are about to go their separate ways and she gives him the key Mm -hmm. and then like that's it i wanted the book to end there where you have hope but also you're like is he you know that he's he was a German soldier, so you don't know what's going to happen to him, and right. you don't know what's going to happen to her. So refresh my memory, because I've already forgotten. So she she hid the... It's implied she hid the the diamond. When? At the end. So, because she gives him the key to... The, like, house that... Yeah. Yeah, her yeah. father had hidden the diamond in. And at the end, so then uh, his really tall buddy, who I liked, <laughs> that guy... They give it to him years later when he's 50-something. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, oh, I think this belongs to... to the... He gives it then to his sister. And then the sister 
goes to, to Marie. Marie. Okay, gotcha. So, but I didn't so, want... <sighs> so the tall guy, that's actually the one I, I thought we were in agreement about, about his life. I did not want to know about his life. At the end? Yeah, like, because he was someone I found really interesting in that, I don't know, he was ruthless. I mean, I, I, like as like a soldier he was pretty ruthless but like as a friend he was a good friend, i don't but oddly. i don't think he liked what he was doing oh either. no i don't think he did either but i i kind of liked him being this kind of mysterious i didn't want to know what happened he was kind of a mirror to Werner. yeah and then it's like he's alive and well and i was like oh yeah, that's, but that's kind of ruined it <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what the entire ending was. Yeah. Well, we, yeah, exactly. We even get a clip of Frederick. Like, uh, yeah, I know. The Frederick part and was sad, but... It was, but I also didn't really need that either. I, I, I already knew yeah, his Yeah, the fate. whole thing was was too much. Too, I mean, I it was like... I saw someone say it was too neatly wrapped up, and I agree. I it was agree. just like too, like, little bow. I was going to say something positive. It sounds like I really didn't like it. I, I still liked it. Um... What I did like is I liked the connection between the two of them from uh, the Werner, radio. Yeah, Werner being like inspired by like her great uncle's like radio broadcasts. Yeah. I guess it's technically his brother. Like, yeah, that's spoke. the two of them. Yeah. Yeah. But I found that I, I was like, oh, that's And nice. when he heard the song. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we can wrap. We've been talking a while <laughs> for yeah. a while about this. Ultimately objectively which i don't like using that word because what do i know i'm an idiot but i think objectively it was a great book but i didn't like the diamond stuff which ended up being a really big part of the book i didn't like the ending uh and yeah i just feel like those things were pretty big bummers for me because mm -hmm. i was super into it before but i think it's really well written and I really, I'm with you with the relationship between her and her father was really well done. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I just think for me, the ending and the diamond, I was, I was able to ignore it <laughs> enough where you still got enjoyment. I, I think the, the relationships between her and her father and, and her and her uncle and, and, and how her and Werner's lives. Were. Yeah. And, and just Werner's like kind of brutal, descent, oddly, because yeah. it was sad. I mean, it was he, really sad. I mean, he was a kid who wanted to learn. I mean, yeah. that's all he wanted. He just wanted to, like, go to school, and he was, like, really excited that he got to go to the school, and it turned out to be, like, a military school, basically. Yeah. Um, and his... One final thing. His, like, weird uh, mentor doctor guy, that guy got weird. I did not... Like, at first, I was like, oh, it's actually a nice guy. It's going to help him, and then... No. Yeah. Not so much. Nobody was... Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, that's why I liked it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the reasons you liked it are all things that I thought were positives of the book. But the Weren't things quite you, enough. The things that you disliked <laughs> yeah. were like the reasons I didn't end up liking it. Yeah. So let us know your thoughts on it. So uh, we're oddly in agreement. We're in agreement, but just... We're just we have different... Levels of... Levels of... of what we got out yeah. of it. Yeah. Let us know. If you want to talk spoilers, just make sure you write spoilers so that nobody is spoiled. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, those were our thoughts. We finally got to talk about it. We have, I was bursting wanting to talk about this with you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thanks guys. Luna is right up near us. You might hear her sniffing. So, uh, all right. Bye. <laughs>